Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas and today I'm going to look through Perfect Pan Pizza Cookbook and it occurs to me that I never really look through pizza cookbooks or use them because I just kind of wing it, I know how to make pizza, I just kind of do it and I vary the toppings and try to make it fancy sometimes and classic at others and easy sometimes complicated but I've never made a pan pizza, it never occurred to me to do that so I'm very excited and I should up my pizza game and well, frankly, we're making more pizzas during the pandemic because we're home and we're bored. Like, ah, let's make pizza. This is by Peter Reinhardt. Perfect pan pizza, square pies to make at home from Roman, Sicilian, and Detroit to grandma pies and focaccia. Okay. It is May 2019-ish. It came out apparently, according to my library. off to a good start. It's 10 speed press. They make a lot of the cookbooks that I enjoy. I like them. And whoa, there's a lot going on here. I'm going to talk about it's all about the crust, sauces and specialty toppings, deep pan Detroit style pizza, focaccia, shacciata, Sicilian style and Roman style pizzas, and then the end. Let's check it out. Introduction right off the bang beautiful picture of a pan pizza with fresh tomatoes on it love it getting started tips and tricks types of pans you might use wisconsin brick cheese is being recommended what types of other cheeses you might want to use positioning and panning the dough excuse me portioning and panning the dough step-by-step -step photos love those why do you put half the cheese on the dough before it rises and the other half just before baking? Well, you'll have to read the book to find out. It's all about the crust. Yes, it is. True. So crust tips, la la la, master dough formula, stretch and fold technique, a test for gluten development. It's getting technical. Whole grain flour, speeding up the process. I'm all for that. White flour dough, whole grain country style dough. And what is an oil slick? Ooh, sounds like something to be avoided. Naturally leavened dough. And the care and feeding of a sourdough starter. I'm sure many of us have been playing with sourdough since the pandemic started. How to refresh your starter. Final notes, la la la. Sauces and specialty toppings. Here's a good way to encourage myself to get out of my rut and not always make balsamic fig pear or margarita or pepperoni for the boyfriend crushed tomato pizza sauce that's the can I use I get mine at cost plus world market personally all-purpose marinara pizza sauce see I haven't really made my own marinara for pizza I just open a can or jar so maybe I should step it up pesto genovese pesto variations including parsley pesto spinach pesto roasted pepper pesto that sounds like a tongue twister. Sun-dried tomato pesto. Herb oil, spicy oil, caramelized balsamic onion marmalade. Mm-hmm. That's taking your pizza up a level or two. Secret sauces. Well, if it's a secret, you can't tell us. Deep pan Detroit style pizza. What the freak is a frico? <laughs> I like their sense of humor. Before you get started, what's the best way to add anchovies to a pizza? The classic red stripe, bacon and egg, pepperoni deluxe, la la la, Philly style roast pork with broccoli, rabe, mushrooms to the max, yes, because I'm vegetarian, beef brisket with burnt ends, bon mi pizza, that's nice fusion for you, veggie pepperoni in quotes, okay, I'll read about that. Olive and artichoke medley. That looks good. We're almost to the end. I can't show you the whole book. A Reuben pan pizza. <laughs> That's clever. Are there going to be dessert pizzas in here? I kind of hope so. Spaghetti and meatballs pan pizza. <laughs> this is clever. I like this. <laughs> Philly cheesesteak makes two 9 by 9 inch pizzas. Motor City Hawaiian. We're still in Detroit. Where's Roman? Garlic Lovers Italian Sausage. Focaccia and Shacciata. I don't know how to say that. Focaccia. Anyway, Focaccia Bianca with herb oil. Nice. In case someone doesn't like tomatoes, like a weird person. Blue cheese, balsamic onion marmalade, and walnut focaccia. Sounds amazing. And look at that picture. Love it. Okay. 
I'm going to skip ahead, Sicilian style and grandma pizza. I said the grandma grandma, so I take offense to that. Umberto style grandma pie. There it is. <laughs> My grandma, another made pizza. Neither, neither one of them did. So there. Lemon, spinach, and cheese curd. Ooh, that sounds refreshing. Putinesca. I like saying it like that. Greek pizza. They put in quotes. Must have some Kalamata olives on it. The classics. Rasa, red, and Bianca white. Now we're in Roman style. Grape tomato and ricotta cream. Yum, yum, yum. Susan's rosemary garlic potatoes on pizza. I've had a pizza with potatoes on it before. I was not complaining. Okay. I don't see any dessert pizzas, so let me give you one last sneak peek. If I can get the book open. Nope, too late. Okay. That is perfect pan pizza, and I'm very tempted to go make some pizza now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our cookbook look throughs, please give us a like, a comment, say something nice, a subscribe on YouTube, and when you interact with our posts by liking, commenting, and saying nice things, you're teaching the social media algorithms to show you more of our posts, because we do a lot. And we're also sometimes on Pinterest. Thanks for watching and happy pizza making.